everybody, Frank Finance here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Back on February 2nd, when Facebook came out with their earnings, I made a video that I made a $25,000 bet on Facebook after they dropped to the $250 range. So I got into a position around $249 a share. They're currently trading around 206. In that video, I predicted that they would drop um, about another 10% but they've dropped further than I've expected at this point down to 206. So we're almost close to 20% down on the position and I'm getting a little bit nervous and my prediction on what would happen with the rebound has not played out. So my prediction on February 3rd roughly was basically Facebook would continue to drop about another 10% and then at that point they would rise about 20% to around 275, possibly 300. Now, obviously it's been two weeks since then, and I'm getting a little nervous as my time horizon was only going to be a month. And looking at where Facebook could go from here, if they hit $200, there could be a mental uh, blocker for them that could cause buyers to come in at 200. But my fear is, and one of the concerns I have is if I start to see them drop considerably below 200, we could see them go back to a multi-year low, back to where they were kind of around the pandemic or start of the pandemic, around 150, 140, and that would be another massive hit. So in my opinion, what probably I'm going to do here is my uh, sell price is probably going to be around 190 because I don't if they don't get support around 200, I'm not going to double up. Right, so I'm not gonna go in and double up at 200 if I don't see any support coming in at 200. I'm probably gonna wait and sell out at 190 if we see that, because if they get to 190, I think they're probably gonna drop to where they were pre-pandemic, around 140, 150. And at that point, that might be a good and attractive place to buy, you know, double up or buy back in at. So right now, I'm still holding my Facebook position. It is a, um, uncomfortable uh, paper loss right now and I definitely was wrong on this and I you know at least in the you know time frame that I predicted within the two weeks to a month it does not look like Facebook is getting to that 275 so this may be a little bit of a longer position for me um, or it may be a position I end up having to just take the L on and take the loss so I do still have a little bit more time left in order to actually um, if I did want to take the loss and write it off I still have more time to wait, um, I think probably another two weeks or a little bit more than two weeks in order to actually um, take that as a loss on paper. However, in the next two weeks, I could lose several more thousand dollars um, just in waiting. So it may not be worth it um, if Facebook continues to go down. So this is a very um, bad position for me right now. I'm not very uh, happy with the choice I made. However, I am going to try to make the best out of it and I want to be full transparency on exactly what is going on with that position. So I'll continue to make these uh, videos periodically, at maybe once a week, depending on um, if there's anything substantial or something to talk about. Now, if you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing. I do videos on personal finance, investing, and stock analysis. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Frank, Frank Finance, out.